Don't search for Jesus in far lands. He is not there. He is close to you. He is with you. Just keep the lamp burning and you will always save Him. My brothers and sisters, keep on filling the lamp with all these little drops of love. And you will see how sweet is the Lord you love. Amen. Happiness is somewhere between too little and too much. Enough wealth to meet one's needs. Enough poverty to learn how to work hard. Enough blessing to keep us happy. Enough sorrow to keep us human. What we are is God's gift to us, but what we become is our gift to God. Amen. Today is a good day to thank the Lord for our gifts, our talents. Rejoicing in grace makes us grateful to the one source of all blessings. Finally, impels us to be generous in giving to others as good stewards. My brothers and sisters, we are to examine ourselves this Sunday. We have to ask, do I recognize the many blessings and graces the Lord has given me? Am I a responsible steward of what has been entrusted to me by my Lord? Amen. Jesus reminds us that there are things we must do even if we do not receive anything in return. Not because it has no value in God's eyes, but for us to turn our attention to His promises to us. God knows all our actions, all the good things we do. We also believe in the Lord's promise of eternal life and the accompanying fullness of happiness in the presence of the Father. We will not be discouraged if we do not see the fruits of our work and the good things we do to God and others. Amen.
the apostles asked Jesus to teach them to pray, and he taught them the beautiful prayer, the Our Father. I believe each time we say the Our Father, God looks at His hands where He has carved us. I have carved you on the palm of my hand. He looks at His hands and He sees us there. My brothers and sisters, how wonderful the tenderness and love of the great God. Amen.